Hey everybody, welcome to the Loading Ready Run update for the first quarter of 2024. That makes us sound so professional. Quarter one. Here's the Q1 report, and it's not yet the end of March, so it still counts. So far this year, we're feeling good. We're feeling like we've got our feet under us. In the parlance of today, we are so back. And not just we, but in particular, Quirpline. The long-awaited season three of Quirpline is underway as I say this. 12 episodes in the season, it's been going wonderfully so far, and we're so glad that you are as excited to see the return of everyone's favorite fictional radio show as we have been to produce it. The return of another fan favorite, Dice Friends, specifically by Law and Order. Yes, the sequel, back again to Ravnica's sixth district. By Law and Order 2 has been broadcasting weekly on the Twitch channel, with the VODs on the LRR Tabletop channel. Which is a fine time to remind you of the plethora of our special interest YouTube channels. There's this one, the one you're watching, where our general comedy and such lives. There's the Loading Ready Run Tabletop channel, where you can find the VODs of our AFK and long game streams, and of course, Dice Friends. There's the Loading Ready Run Video Games channel, where you can find Checkpoint and Express Edits of Let's Nope, Mine O'Clock, and Watch and Play, for those who want to get the taste of the streams but don't have as much time. There is my vlog channel, which YouTube obliged me to name Graham Stark Vlogs. It's not catchy, but here it is. There's been a bunch of new vlogs recently, including PAX Unplugged in Philadelphia, Magic on Chicago, and there is still forthcoming last summer's big Stark family trip to Europe. <laughs> it's a lot. I'll, I'll get it done eventually. There is the streams channel for any of the full unedited VODs of any of our streams that don't have their full unedited VODs go on another of the channels I have already mentioned or I'm about to mention. And of course, the Loading Ready Run Magic the Gathering channel, LRRMTG, which soon will be the home of the new season of Friday Nights, because we launched and ran a very successful Kickstarter campaign, successful thanks to you, and boy, do we thanks you for that. Uh, we're so excited to get recording and filming, and uh, you'll, you'll find out all about that because we hit the stretch goal for behind the scenes, so there'll be a whole loading time covering the production of it, and uh, we can't can't wait to do it. I just gotta finish the scripts. Those episodes will be airing later this year. This is a weird segue, but I'm gonna attempt it anyway. Something that won't be airing later this year is Askler, because as a reminder, we've decided to wrap up Askler for now to make room for us to do other things. The last episode of that will have just aired, I think, by the time that you're seeing this. This, of course, means that we will no longer be doing the YouTube member community post to solicit questions for a show that we're not making. But instead, we have now integrated YouTube memberships with Lurbot. So if you become a YouTube member during a stream, you'll be included in the end of stream subscriber shoutouts. So that's nice. In fact, we realized there was a whole bunch of levers we could flip, and we just went and did it. So we have turned on YouTube memberships on all of our channels. If there is a particular place where you're watching more than other stuff, you can choose to support us there. If you are already financially supporting us, be it on Patreon or on the Twitch channel or anywhere that you do that, first of all, thank you, because we literally can't do this without your direct support. But also, if a new venue for that opens up, don't feel obliged to move to it or add to it, certainly, but maybe there's someone who only watches my vlogs and doesn't watch something else, and that channel is now an opportunity for them. Uh, all gates are open, essentially. For more information on the individual channel memberships, check out those individual channels, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Speaking of YouTube and streaming, crap shots. Bear with me here. Previously, we've been doing a 20-week cycle of crap shots. You'll notice that they just started airing earlier this month. We're moving them to a 16-week cycle so we can better keep on top of them and put in a little bit more effort per crap shot. So this batch will be airing through until the end of June, and one of those 16 will be the return of The Crap Shoot. If you're unfamiliar with The Crap Shoot, it's a beloved by viewers and crew alike stream where we sit down with no ideas and write and film and edit a crap shot all within that stream. So we'll be doing one of those for each batch of 16. This batch I said running from March until June, then there'll be two months off and the next batch will pick up in September through to the end of the year. So we're looking forward to the occasional crap shoot as a treat. Speaking further of YouTube and streaming, streaming on YouTube. You may have noticed that we've been doing an occasional stream or two here on YouTube, simulcasting from our Twitch channel because we're allowed to do that now. 
and there's a lot involved in just this is not a lever that we can just run run back and flip there's a lot of sort of admin and prep and figuring stuff out so currently we're still in the data gathering phase but keep an eye on it because you will see more streams on the youtube channel certainly larger special events and if that's something that you're interested in then uh i think you will enjoy it let us know how that's been going for you and thirdly because you know everything's got to be in threes streaming and youtube as mostly streaming. The subathon that we did last year for our 20th anniversary was great. It was a big success for you, the folks watching, and for us. We had a blast doing it. You all enjoyed watching it. And so we're, we're going to do another one just for fun this time. No other information on it at this time, but it's not going to be so late in the year, probably in summer. No firm dates yet, but Boy, we will tell you when it happens. Penultimately, fans of our Magic the Gathering content may be wondering what the status of the pre-pre-releases is, and so are we. We've been working very hard with some very good people who we deal with directly at Wizards of the Coast, trying to hammer all the details out, and it's not done yet at time of recording. By the time this airs, we should have everything sorted out, but the point is, we don't have a formal pre-pre-release for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. So instead, we will be bringing you a pre-launch showcase where we will be showing off Sealed, Draft, and Commander with the Thunder Junction pre-con decks. That will be an all-day stream on April 5th, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific. That will be simulcast on YouTube. And even though it is not a sponsored stream, it would not be possible without Wizards of the Coast providing us with the product. So we do thank them for that and are looking forward to doing some, you know, more involved content later in the year. And finally, I've said it before, I've said it before in this very video, but everything that we do here at Loading Ready Run is only possible because of your direct support and we thank you for it so much. And the words of Jim Ross, thank you for inviting us into your homes. Thank you for letting us entertain you. It means so much that we get to do this uh, for you and I mean, for us as well. And you know, you, uh, we like to say you keep the lights on. Most of them are LEDs now, so they're very cheap to run, but you do pay the rent also. So that's maybe a little bit more key uh, <laughs> and salaries and all those wonderful things. The ways that you can support us directly financially are the Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. You can be a subscriber on Twitch, twitch.tv slash loading ready run. You can become a member on YouTube. You can buy things at store.loadingreadyrun.com. And if it is not possible or you do not desire to support us financially, that is okay. Thank you just for being here, for watching, for interacting with the video, with all the liking and subscribing. It's annoying, but it helps. <laughs> <laughs> and for telling your friends, spreading the word. Uh, you know, the more people who find out about this stuff, then, uh, you know, the, the more lights that we can keep on. I don't know. We can pay people more is really what it comes down to. So thank you all so much for listening to the quarter one update. This has been your quarterly report. I've been Graham Stark. Thank you for listening. I don't think they're going to buy this.